Alright, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about a great topic that I thought was pretty funny. And this topic is, of course, CNN fake news and how I guess a bunch of people now are just catching on to this stuff, even people like Bernie Sanders. So, I'm going to get into it for a second, but I just want to say that, you know, I find it really funny how. I guess these little nicknames that Trump comes up for his enemies like Crooked Hillary, Little Marco, Lion Ted, Low Energy Jeb. I just love that these little nicknames, they just stick so well and that a bunch of people are catching on to it. So what has essentially happened? Well, Bernie Sanders, I guess, went out and basically called CNN fake news. And he was on an interview with CNN and the interviewer asked him to, I guess, a bunch of questions on Trump's policy. And Bernie made like a joke real quick saying that, you know, maybe he was watching CNN fake news. And he even said it was a joke, but I guess they said it was, you know, technical difficulties, how they cut him off. He says he knows nothing about it, hasn't seen any of these reports. Um, is that a problem? Well, I don't know. Maybe he was watching CNN fake news. What do you think? <laughs> you don't buy it. was a joke. I, I know it was a joke. I'm saying you, you, um, don't, you don't buy what he said, obviously. Aaron? Yes. I'm sorry, Senator. I'm saying you obviously don't buy what he said. You, you, you believe that, that he has seen these reports. I mean, to your Kevin, point. Kevin, I'm not. Are, are we on? Uh, it looks like we've lost okay. connection with Senator Sanders. So let's just try to get that back up. Um, do we have him back? Okay, so what we're going to do is take a break. I don't want to waste our time. We only have the senator for a few minutes. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back, continue our conversation with Senator Sanders. So I guess that's what happened. They cut him off right after he said that. And I did some research, and of course they're going to say that it wasn't him getting cut off. It was just technical difficulties. But I think if you really look at it and just realize that this coincidence is just way too big, they probably cut him off, went to a commercial break, and then, you know, told him basically you can't say that anymore and then brought him back because that's what happened. They cut him off, it went to a commercial break, and then I guess they said that they had him on the interview for, I guess, nine more minutes. So that is what happened. I thought that was just hilarious because people, you know, like Bernie Sanders, regardless if he's, you know, dissing Trump or not, he still called CNN fake news. And I find that pretty funny. It's just that all the people now, the mass, like, you know, the society of people just realize whether you're upper class, lower class, middle class, it doesn't matter. Just everyone is coming and realizing that, yes, CNN and the mainstream media, they just produce fake stories, hence fake news, okay? If they don't want to be called fake news, then, well, just produce real topics, real stories, do actual journalism. That would be nice for a change. People don't call Fox News fake news because they don't produce BS stories all the time like CNN and other mainstream media outlets and maybe if CNN just cuts the ties with you know the Clintons or the Democratic Party or just cuts their liberal agenda then maybe they're gonna get some reputation back but I don't see that happening and I'm glad it's not happening because they should pay for their mistakes if they're just gonna be little lapdogs for the Clintons and the liberals then well, people are going to eventually realize that they're just producing BS and they're going to lose reputation and no one's going to believe them. And uh, I just, I find that pretty funny. So, yes, of course, they're going to say it was technical difficulties and all the outlets are going to say this was false. But if you just take a look at it, the coincidence, in my opinion, is too high to just be a simple technical difficulty problem. So they cut him off and that was just, that was really funny, okay? I just thought that was pretty funny. And then later, I'm not sure if this was the same day or before, but this is definitely on the fake news topic. CNN, of course, was doing another panel and one of the guys for CNN said that if you call uh, journalists or just calling overall journalists in the mainstream media, if you call that fake news, then I guess its comparison is to calling a black person the n-word uh, the president with all due respect is once again off on the facts uh, and that's not something that any of us uh, have any desire to say on a regular basis but it keeps being true uh, fake news is the worst thing that you can call a journalist uh, it's like an ethnic disparagement uh, you know we all have these ugly words for people that's the one for journalists and david this is a distraction the only thing that's bothersome about it is that i see being called fake news as the equivalent of the n-word for journalists which is just I, I can't believe it like it's just really it's no it's no comparison okay if you actually mean that when you call a black person that is kind of fucked up but 
if you call someone fake news that they're a journalist, guess what? They're calling you fake news either as a joke or because you're producing fake news. So people like these journalists at CNN don't want to be called fake news. They just produce real stories. And I'm not really surprised though. I'm pretty sure you guys shouldn't be surprised either that, of course, since they're super liberals, they're going to play the victim card and, you know, woe is me. They're going to start crying and act all butthurt that, you know, they've done nothing wrong. So... I don't buy it. These guys are just hilarious. Um, their world is just getting destroyed because people are now catching on to the fact that, yes, they produce fake stories. I remember the most recent one in my head, I even made a video on it, was how they produced like this fake story of, you know, Trump involved in some golden shower sex scandal, which is just completely debunked by now, and it has no merit. It had no merit. I don't know even know why they produced a story on it, and it's just... Yeah, I, I can't believe it. So they've had countless times to prove that they're not fake news, but I guess, you know, since Trump's president, you know, what are they going to do? So yeah, that is basically what's been going on. Everyone is catching on to that they're fake news, and that is just pretty nice, okay? I'm glad that everyone is catching on because I don't want the people to just be brainwashed by this liberal agenda that they have. So that's what's been going on. Not a huge story, but just kind of a funny one. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know that this is just all BS, and it's just kind of funny to laugh at them. So, uh, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.